Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I did probably my biggest grocery shop ever. Um, now I'm getting back into keto. I needed to stock up my fridge and pantry and everything with all the keto low carb foods so I'm going to share that with you today just make sure that if you're not already subscribed you hit that subscribe button and join the Yum Inspirations community and leave a like and a comment let me know what you thought of this grocery haul and I've done a heap of grocery hauls in the past I'll leave a playlist down below leave a comment let me know if you've got any other requests for videos you'd like me to film in the future but let's get straight into this massive grocery haul Right, we will start with all the veggies. Now, firstly, just apologise, background noise. I've got the oven on because I'm going to be cooking lunch as soon as I'm done with this video. So I've got the oven on. I'm going to be making a nice warm lunch for myself and the kids are playing in the background. But anyway, just so you know, background noise. Let's get into it. Of course, we've got avos, two avocados. One's a little riper than the other one so that I can have one straight away and the other in the next couple of days. Red peppers, well for me and for the kids, I've really got into red peppers lately so I love my red peppers. So we've got two red peppers and tomatoes, I like when they're on the vine like this. And now yep, tomatoes are higher in carbs than other veggies so I'll have a couple of tomatoes a day and it kind of goes between the whole family. And garlic, again one garlic clove is one carb so um, I'll enjoy it sparingly but it just brings such flavour. I love cooking with garlic and I got two heads of broccoli and and one of cauliflower. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do since I've been home. I've made cauliflower mash twice um, and I might do something else with those collies and broccoli something. Oh, we'll get to the rest of my food in a sec. And lettuce, a big head of lettuce. I think that's the veg. And now with fruit, I have strawberries and raspberries. They're all still in season, so I thought I would get a mixture of both to have with my excuse me, strawberries and cream in the afternoons and moving down to dairy. The brie was on special so I got two packs of brie. I just love it on the side of eggs for breakfast or maybe mixed through a salad and oh, while we're talking about it, here's my baby pickles. I got some baby cucumbers again to have lunches, snacks. I'm not sure what's going on with me today. Um, we've got cream cheese. Uh, and yes, dairy has been agreeing with me lately, but I'm not going to make the mistake I made in the past where I just went crazy with all the dairy. So I'm going to not have it at every meal, but definitely incorporate more, more dairy again. And of course, butter. I have cook everything in butter. I have my hot chocolate with butter, butter with everything. And cheese, Great Ocean Road, I'm Melbourne local, so Great Ocean Road, local cheese, nice from Coles. And we've got some sour cream and thickened cream. I've got the smaller tubs, I've been getting the larger ones and um, not going through it as quickly, so I thought it was more economical to get the smaller ones. So that is what I did, we've got thickened cream, sour cream to mix through my meals. And now we'll start at the bottom again and work our way back up. And this is going to be my lunch today. <laughs> I'm going to have some chicken legs and maybe throw in some broccoli and some of the other veg just to make a big chicken roast. I'm home today. It's a cooler day. It's just be nice. to <laughs> The cat is walking around the table. Um, it will just be nice to have some chicken legs. So I've got two packs and then also I will have leftovers for during the week. He's always wanting to get in on the action. Whenever I'm sitting and talking with a camera, I don't know if he thinks I'm talking to him, why he wants to get in here. Hello, Chop Chop. Okay, and so I've got my two chicken legs that I think I'm probably going to cook today. Um, lunchtime, I will not be eating all the chicken legs. I might have two, possibly three, depends how hungry I am. Um, and then I've just got chicken legs in the fridge to have for lunches through the week and to do, I'm, I'm one experiment of recipes. I have so many ideas of things to do with all leftover chicken that I want to have a play with. So those are my chicken leg packs. You can see there it's really a budget <laughs> item to get. Cat is so distracting today. It's $5.50 a kilo for these chicken legs. <laughs> and so I've got two of them and I'm going to roast them all and we'll see how we go. And salami, uh, the whole family now is into salami since starting keto I've been getting it more often and now my kids absolutely love it so every time I go shopping I've got to bring home the salami and um, I have it for breakfast I love cutting it up and dicing it and then mixing it with having fried eggs with salami it's so yum so good um, and still ooh, all the protein we forgot tuna I'll often have tuna salads for lunch so I like these little in spring water and just make sure they are 
the Poland line caught because that's friendlier to the fish and to you. So, yep, and sardines as well. My husband loves sardines. I'm not a huge sardine fan, but I always get tuna sardines because that's kind of our easy go-to protein option. And some beef mince. Again, look, three-star, really bargain, a real budget, friendly keto food. You can see all the fat on it. Nice, low-carb, high-fat. Yep, good protein as well. I think I will probably make burgers with that and use my lettuce. That, I'm tickling the cat on the side. Um, and use the lettuce leaves that I got to use as, instead of buns. Now he's sniffing and rubbing the camera. Sorry. Distracting cat. Um, I'll use the lettuce leaves I got to have burger with these the burger mints. And that's going to be another dinner through the week. I'm really getting organized back into it. Um, I've got some sauerkraut. I haven't had sauerkraut in a while. And I thought this looked good. $3 sauerkraut easy along with the peppers and the peppers the cucumbers it's nice the pickled baby cucumbers it's nice to have some fermented food in your diet and of course salt I have so much salt and more I cook cook with salt and then I add salt at table as well and we'll add cat as well look at him he just he's standing in my egg box Oh, yep, we got two boxes of eggs <laughs> and finally a big shoulder roast. So I'm going to roast and have meat for through the week as well as the chicken so that I will have loads and loads of options. So look at that. This is, I think, the biggest grocery haul that I've ever done. It's just massive, but it's good to be home and good to get back into it um, with all low-carb, keto-friendly food. So that is the video for today. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure that you leave a like and subscribe for more low-carb, keto diet inspiration and we'll see you again soon. Bye!